Good morning and welcome to the Sony 90 millimeter macro challenge. Because here's the deal. This lens is fantastic for photos. Sure, we've all seen lots of great photos, but it's also amazing when it comes to video, macro video. But first, I gotta grab my lens cap. Forgot it at the last location. Now, not only do I need video out of the 90 millimeter, but I need one great photo for the thumbnail of this particular video. I'm at a community garden. It's absolutely spectacular. Chairs, benches, a lot of room, tons of different plants, tons of different insects. Let's do some macro photography and videography. So I noticed these plants have a ton of ladybugs and I'm doing my best, but even the slightest breeze is making it so challenging with the sway. 90 millimeter zoom. Uh, no go on the butterflies, they are on to me. However, I got a couple good shots of some bees. Some of the things I, I try to think about and what I'm trying to get is one, like a shot where they're flying in and flying out. So I'm not quite at macro, right? I'm backed off a little bit. I get a little bit more of the entire flower. And then some of the shots, I'm very, very much zoomed in, almost a one-to-one -one magnification. And it's uh, it's challenging. The focus is The focus is really tough, in fact, this clip here of these ants really demonstrates just how shallow the depth of field is and the focus plane is near impossible. And the fact that you're also filming, it's not just a photo, but it's a clip, a video clip, hard. This is why I film at 120 frames per second. That seems to be working better for me. I can slow things down in post. Let's keep trying to get some shots. Hey, if you enjoy these types of videos, consider subscribing. So uh, currently really struggling to get some great shots. Uh, the wind is playing havoc on me. It's very hot. Uh, there's a lot of bees, which are great, but I'm looking for something different. There's some amazing ladybugs, but it's just, again, so breezy. Footage of ladybug obtained, uh, both at 60p and 120p. Uh, challenging, the ISO was kind of high. What do you think? I'm gonna make you a star. Now, I'm in this location with a bit of shade, which is comfortable for me, but when you're shooting at 120 frames per second with a high aperture, I'm at like f18, f20, which sounds a little too high, but man, just trying to keep things in focus is challenging. Higher f-stop, more of the shot is in focus, which is still next to nothing. <laughs> but sadly, the ISO is, I think it was like 12,000. It's just too much. My, I wasn't able to, to shoot the shot. 12,000 is just too much. I'm going to keep exploring and see what I see. Okay, it's thumbnail time. Uh, I need to nail a thumbnail of a ladybug and I'm going to add some extension tubes to dramatically increase my magnification. Let's see if we can get something cool. I don't know, man, the wind just, the wind continues to kick up. It's, it's just so hard. <sighs> I don't know if this is such a good idea. So it's day two, I'm back. I'm trying to get that photo. Yesterday it was just too windy, like the conditions didn't allow. And <laughs> I left this morning, it wasn't too bad. And the wind is kicking up again, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna run, grab the camera, just try to get a couple photos then I can be done, I can be finished with this project and on to the next. Here we go. Yeah. 
it's kind of ridiculous. The thing is about uh, these videos is it's just it's a lot of gear. Right now you don't see the A7S III sitting on a Siriu tripod with the microphone. Don't forget the microphone, the extra batteries. You need to have another camera to shoot the photos with or the video with. Uh, if you want to do macro, well, if you're doing macro video, you probably want this lens. This is the A7S, uh, the <laughs> this is the Sony 90 millimeter. It's great because it's got stabilization. <clears throat> if you're doing photos, it's probably better to use a lens that has more magnification. The Lao 190 millimeter is a great choice. Uh, it, again, macro, don't forget a diffuser. So I forgot that when I went back to the park on the second day and it started to rain and the wind kicked up. Anyway, kind of disgusted. However, the good news is that <laughs> right here at my own place, I've got plenty of bushes and trees and there are a lot of insects. I've already taken a lot of cool photos here at the house and I'm gonna strive to do that right now. Regardless, I'm not going back to the park. This video is done and it's on to the next. You know, as I kind of wrap up, I'm thinking to myself, as a creative individual with cameras, right, photos, videos, there are so many ways to mess it up. The wrong settings, the wrong location, poor lighting, bad weather, you forget something like I forgot my diffuser. I can't tell you how many darn times I've forgotten this when I'm doing macro photos and you want to use a flash and if you're using a flash you want to diffuse the light and if you don't have your diffuser it's going to be hard to capture something that's truly beautiful regardless i'll keep showing up i'll keep i'll keep trying do this check out this video on the screen now i'll see you there you dig